Hey there, I'm Amy Connell. Welcome to Graced Health, the podcast for women who want simple and grace-filled ways to take care of themselves and enjoy a little chocolate as well. I'm a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach who wants you to know your eating, movement, and body don't have to be perfect. You just need to be able to do what you're called to do. These Ask the Trainer episodes come from a variety of inspiration. And this one is from an experience I had this morning, as well as other similar experiences I have had over the past several years. And that has to do with basic bike etiquette. Okay, I'm not talking about like if you are in a group and you are um, one of several people and you're on a road bike and you're on the road, like that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about going out, getting on the sidewalks in particular, particular, and uh, riding for exercise. Or I'm also speaking to those who have younger children who are now able to um, get on their bikes and ride around and go to their friend's house or go to the pool in the summer or something like that without mom and dad. And that's a fun and it's, a, and it's an exciting time of life. But at the same time, these are things that I just implore you to teach your children because I have been run over so many times by nine-year-old boys who I'm sure are wonderful children and I'm sure their parents are just as lovely and they just didn't know. They just didn't know some of these things and, uh, it really just comes down to a safety thing. So this is one of those things I'm a little more passionate about because I've had several bad experiences. Uh, Even just this morning, I was walking with a girlfriend of mine and we hear like a little bit of whistling in the back, which I'm I'm appreciative that there was some heads up and it kind of startled us. And then he just came flying by right in between us. (laughs) So I want to talk some today about just the very basic track etiquette and a few things to follow when you are riding a bike. This is applicable to you if you are on the streets. This is also applicable to your children or your grandchildren if you have them. So please take heart and model this to your kids, especially if you are out uh, riding bikes. So the first thing is, obviously, I can't, I can't not say this, wear a helmet. Um, I, this is the deal. I hate wearing helmets. I just do. And a lot of that is because I have the kind of hair that when I put it up on a ponytail, like to wash my face at night and I take it out, you can still see the kink. Like it's just, it's thin, it's fine. It shows everything. And so when I put a helmet on, like I have lines in my hair from the helmet, it's just, it just messes it up for the day. So I totally get not wanting to wear one, but I have a child who rode his bike back and forth to school for the better part of five years. And twice he was in a serious enough bike accident that could have ended him up in the hospital and possibly with long-term consequences had he not been wearing his helmet. There was one time he kind of hit a bump in the sidewalk. He went flying forward and the helmet was able to break the fall rather than his forehead. The helmet cracked. So it, it literally really protected his head. Another time um, oh gosh, I can't even remember what it was off the top of my head. And then one time he witnessed a, a person getting hit. Um, thank goodness they were okay, but it was a biker and a, a car didn't see him and he got hit. So helmets are super important. And I will say too, if you have young children, please model this. This is not like a do as I say, not as I do. Uh, if you don't wear a helmet, then the minute that they leave home, they're going to take that helmet off. So uh, my kids were not I mean, I, I tried, you know, we try too, right? Like these are things that we try and do and sometimes they do it and sometimes they don't. Okay. Now the next one is the most important thing that I want you to know, obviously besides wear your helmet. And that is please announce that you are coming up. So normally sometimes I like to save the most important ones to the end, but I really want to catch you here before you, before you get off. What do I mean by that? If you are on a bike and you're coming up on someone who's walking or running, announce on your left, or coming up behind you, or heads up, anything else to let someone know that you are coming. Now, what will often happen is if you say on your left, meaning you're going to come up and pass them on your left, then and I do this too, even though I know the like the brain hears left and instinctually moves to the left. (laughs) So be aware that that person might be going exactly to the place that you are planning on going around them. So announce it 
with enough distance that the person can hear on your left, they can kind of move to the left, and then they can correct themselves and move back over to the right. Then slow down just a little bit. If you're on your sidewalk, if you're probably not in a race, and I understand you want to keep your heart up, and I understand you have goals, or maybe you might even be running late, but slow down just a little bit until you pass that person because you never know (laughs) what they might be doing. The other thing is, I think it's wise and considerate to say on your left, because that way they know where you're coming. This person this morning came up, he went right in between us because I didn't know where to go and she didn't know where to go. And we both kind of just went out to the sides and he went right in between us. Again, not super safe. So make sure that you are announcing yourself. If you are riding in the dark, please, please, please have some sort of light to say where you are. So maybe that is a headlamp on your helmet. Maybe that is a light that's on your bike. You can even wear like neon light um, oh, glow sticks or something like that. I've seen that. That's fine. But at early in the morning, even if you have street lights and other ambient light around, it's still dark and it's so um it's so considerate to offer someone an announcement, even if it's a nonverbal one of like, hey, you're coming up. And by the way, you never know if someone is hearing impaired and maybe they don't have their ears in. You're with my, a, a girlfriend of mine um, has hearing, uh, hearing impaired devices. And she's like, well, I, I don't have my ears in, so I can't hear things. So they may not have their ears. So again, having the light will be really helpful. Also saying on your left really, really loud is helpful as well. And like I said, proceed with caution around the people, leave some space. Uh, You know, it's one thing if you are running or walking and you kind of zip in in and out, kind of like in a race, if you've ever done a race, you can kind of zip in and out of people. It's a lot harder to do when you're on your bike and it just makes the other person mm, a little nervous. So that is my rant for today, but I think it's really important. And in my opinion, a lot of people just don't know to do that. They've never known. So announce you're coming on your left, coming up behind you with enough time and space for the person to react and then have some sort of visual indicator that you're coming, a a headlamp, a light on your bike, glow sticks, anything like that. And then just be careful. Just be careful. So there you go. I think that is all for today. Go out there and have a great day. (laughs) 